Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy. welcome back. I got my PC built and this is actually a test video for it. I will be doing a video later on with the full specs and the overall build, but Shadowkeep has been delayed until October 1st and that means we get a little extra time going for Pinnacle weapons. So for today, let's talk about this season's Pinnacle Crucible Sniper Rifle, the Revoker. I've been seeing some mixed feelings about this sniper and there's a lot that goes into that. I'm going to start off this review by saying that this sniper has a place and I think it's a very good sniper that does all the right things, but to me it has a major drawback that I personally don't like to work with. Some of you are going to be okay with it. And overall that's kind of what's nice about Destiny. There is variety, different tools for different jobs. Some players like some weapons that others don't, things like that. As we discussed in the previous video, the quest to get Revoker is a great new way to grind for a pinnacle weapon. It puts less stress on the player than any other season. You can do it at your own pace, you can get 66% of it done in quick play, and in the final part, you do have to be in comp, but you don't have to reach actual Fabled. The quest wants you to get 300 sniper rifle final blows, 50 sniper rifle precision final blows, and both of these again can be done in quick play, I'm cool with that. And the last step, 3500 glory points earned, it's a point system. With the redesigned win streak, you gain points fast, and what's nice is that your progress to 3500 isn't penalized. That takes a lot of stress off the player, you can take the entire season, do your best, try to win some games. When you win, you start gaining towards that 3500, you lose, you stay still. And that's really nice for the solo player going into comp, even if they lose games, it doesn't affect their progress towards that 3500 goal. And for some players, they might get on some streaks and be closer than they've ever been to 2100, get close enough for Luna, Recluse, things like that. All in all, it's very player friendly. It keeps the comp population higher than it would have been otherwise. And I really do hope that future PvP Pinnacle quests follow this structure. And if you aren't good at sniping, if you want to get better at sniping, the Revoker quest is perfect for you. The entire quest wants you to use sniper rifles, get a lot more comfortable with them, and then you have Revoker, and we'll talk about that as we go on. The Revoker sits in the kinetic category as an aggressive frame, 72 RPM hard hitting sniper, and for the stats, with all those perks added, we have a range of 98, stability of 34, a handling of 31, and that's what the masterwork added, reload of 37, an aim assist stat of 44, recoil direction of 72, and a magazine of 3. There are 12 total legendary aggressive snipers. Out of those, the Revoker has the best range in class, which you might be wondering why that's so important. Aim assist, accuracy, it's all tied to that range stat. So the more range, the better the weapon feels, better hit detection, the better slowdown that you have. The accuracy cone's really tight, meaning hip fire shots are a lot better, shots from the air are a lot better. All of it is a good thing. Now, the aim assist stat of 44 is the third lowest of all aggressive frames. The highest stat's at 49, so it's not that far off from it. But we'll talk about aim assist later on in the review. One of the biggest highlights of the Revoker though is the old school Destiny 1 ambush scope and that's honestly one of the main reasons to go for it. The zoom level is at 35, tied for the lowest in the game. Now the majority of Destiny 2 maps are on the small side so you have less magnification, drag scopes are a little bit easier, you have easier tracking. It's really nice to have and for the perks we have extended barrel and accurized rounds with a handling masterwork. The first of its main two perks is going to be Snapshot, which is a staple PvP sniper perk, faster time aiming down sights. Its pinnacle perk is Reversal of Fortune. Missing a shot returns a bullet to the magazine after a short duration. Basically, this is guaranteed mulligan. The regular mulligan perk states that the shot has a chance to return, but Reversal of Fortune makes that guaranteed. So when the shot's missed, the perk returns a missed shot two seconds after your shot misses. If you fire a second or third follow-up shot within those two seconds, only the first will be returned. But before we get into its application, how it performs, let's talk about that perk for a second. I know the general consensus is going to be that this is rewarding a player for missing. How could that be a pinnacle perk? It really depends on how you look at this. I can see that, I guess, but I look at its pinnacle perk a different way, and it's okay to disagree with me, but first off, the perk itself isn't game-breaking. As in, the perk doesn't start a new meta within the game. Magnificent Hal ran the Crucible for many months. It was so good it got a nerf, though that nerf could have been handled a little bit differently, but you guys get the point. Reversal of Fortune isn't on the level of Magnificent Hal or the Recluse's Master of Arms. To me, I don't think of it as a perk rewarding you for missing, because everyone misses, Shroud misses, I miss, you miss, we all miss. What this perk does do is encourages you to take the shot. You've heard it before, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. With Revoker, you take the quick scope, you take the drag scope, take the jump shot. If you miss, no worries, you get that bullet back. It allows the user to be very, very aggressive. Reversal of Fortune also means that you don't have too strict of an ammo economy. You start off with two rounds in the Crucible. At opening choke points, you can take your shot. If you miss, reposition, get that round back, look for a new angle and do it all over again, like right here. I take out one opponent, I see one to my left, I take a quick drag scope, quick scope at him, I miss, but I reposition all the way to the other side, go around, have my shot ready for the next opponent. 
that's what the Revoker is really good at. But let's be very clear, obviously in the ideal situation is going to be that you land your shot, that's the goal. We don't want to miss, but we do. And that's where that perk comes in. The summary of this Pinnacle Sniper Rifle as a whole with its perk, Reversal of Fortune, is that it prevents a negative, but it doesn't necessarily give you a huge positive. Now on to PvE, the Revoker isn't a useful option at all. The PvE enemies, they're not hard to hit. The only thing you get is a three round aggressive sniper. You can have a little bit more with backup mag. Usually you're gonna be hammering down to do damage, shot after shot, so the perk won't work well. You have access to more ammo in PvE, and in that kinetic category, you have way better options for PvE. If you feel like you absolutely need to use an aggressive frame sniper, use Dread Adventure, Bite of the Fox, or a non-aggressive frame, go for Izanagi's Burden for the damage. The Revoker can be useful in Gambit, but other than that, PvE is a no-go. In the Crucible though, that's what it's made for. If you're on the fence about the Sniper, maybe you have it now and you aren't impressed. Think about this, it does work well in any PvP game mode, but the true calling for Revoker is in revive game modes like Countdown and Comp. That's where the Revoker does real work, because at the start of the match you can go for picks. The enemy team's more than likely going to have one or two Snipers on them, if you guys trade shots they miss. They now have one total bullet, if you miss, you're still gonna have two. That's the ideal situation for it, so say you're defending, you take the shot, immediately switch to your primary, you do that just in case you body them, you can clean them up, but if you miss that shot, you're gonna be primarying them with your hand cannon or whatever you're using, it's gonna refund the shot in the background, then you can move around and get new angles. But let's look a little bit further down the line. We saw in the Vidoc the play test for Elimination. Say that goes back to 3v3, but let's be real, we're gonna think of it as 4v4 as it currently is, and we can even go further, but we can think about old school Trials Elimination. Elimination has revives. They also teased Widow's Court, a nice, larger map from Destiny 1. Imagine spawning into Widow's Court, Elimination, you have two shots with your Revoker. Sniper battles are gonna happen on a map like that. You can take your shots, but when you miss, you get the ammo back. It could possibly get to a point to where you're gonna have ammo and they're not. And that's really interesting to think about because that's what the sniper's made for. The Revoker will be a very good pick for elimination. But let's get back to what we know now. As we started with, what is nice about Revoker is how aggressive it allows you to be. The name itself, Revoker, means to call back, void something, canceling something, so when you miss, it's like it never happened. That's why I use an Icarus mod. When you look at your mod selection, you think a couple things when it comes to sniper rifles, maybe a target adjuster, make it have a little bit better target acquisition, slow down, aim assist, but that stat of 44 is on the real low end. You aren't going to be helping it out too much to have that true difference that you're looking for. But I use Icarus, as you guys saw in the opening clips, and the clips right now, to be able to take those shots. I take the shot, pull out my hand cannon, if I miss, that round comes back. I really like the Icarus mod, but that isn't the above all best option. The best option is going to be catered to what you want to do with it. With Icarus, I use my vertical space looking into choke points. I do safe transitions from the air from side to side. I take my shot as I'm transferring. Sometimes I land the shot, sometimes I don't, but the ammo is gonna come back. That's what's really nice about Revoker. And again, that 98 range stat means it has a very tight accuracy cone. It's one of the most accurate no-scope jump shot snipers I've ever used. Other mods, radar tuners there, radar booster, freehand grip, even quick access sling because you have a three round mag. There are a lot of options, go with what makes you comfortable. If I didn't use Icarus, my next two would be Freehand Grip or Backup Mag. But now let's get into the issue that I have with it, and it's something to really think about. First of all, the Dread Adventure is really good. So is Bite of the Fox as a kinetic aggressive frame sniper. I love my explosive round Bite of the Fox, I even made a video on it. However, the Revoker has more going for it. The zoom, the scope, the perks. It's just a great PvP sniper. My main issue with the Revoker and it just might be me, and I'm gonna go into detail, is gonna be its slot. I'm not gonna make the argument if Beloved's better, if Twilight's better, if all these snipers are better, because I really like Beloved. But when you start comparing things like that, you're comparing two separate categories. They're comparable in the sense that they're snipers, sure, but the second part of a sniper loadout is the other weapon that you're using. For me, I prefer the hand cannon as my sniper pairing. It helps for easy cleanups, it can duel when players rush in, you can also go SMG, you can go sidearm. Some people go crazy and go snipe pulse, you do you. But if I'm running a snipe loadout in PvP and choose the Revoker, my energy choices are going to be things like Sunshot, Waking Vigil, Nation of Beasts, Thin Line, Trust, Kindled Orchid. Then of course you can pair it with Recluse, Last Dance, a Sidearm, and of course Luna are not forgotten. Compared to, let's say, the beloved Energy Sniper, or imagine if the Revoker was energy. You could pair it with Ace of Spades, Last Word, Thorn, Ostringer, 
Lumina, Spare Ration, Service Revolver, Duke, Chaperone, and a lot more. So that's why I don't compare Revoker directly to Beloved. I know a lot of people are doing that. It's not a question of is the Revoker better than Beloved or other snipers. The question that needs to be asked and the one that you need to ask yourself is the loadout better with Beloved or Revoker. And for me, Revoker being a kinetic makes the weapon take a back seat. Because when it comes down to it, I'm going to be more deadly with Ace Beloved, Ostringer Beloved, or Last Word Beloved. And for some people, that could be Twilight, whatever it is, instead of using Revoker Waking Vigil or Revoker Sunshot. And that isn't to say that those are completely bad, but pairing an Energy Sniper with a Kinetic Primary has a lot better options. And the thing that we haven't really talked about in depth, the thing that you're thinking, the best overall pairing for the Revoker is to pair Pinnacle with Pinnacle, pairing it with Recluse, pairing it with Luna or Not Forgotten as far as lethality. So for me, I personally don't use Luna or things like that. I pair Recluse with other weapons, so keep all that in mind with this assessment. But that's the question that really needs to be asked. The total loadout. I put a lot of time using the sniper rifle, and that's the only real drawback for me, man. It's going to be the slot. For some players, it's not going to bother them, and they're going to say it's fine. But to me, getting my ammo back with the revoker is easily made up by me shutting down a rusher using the last word. But in conclusion, my overall thoughts on Revoker is that it is really a good sniper. It does everything right. It has everything that you want it to do. It has a low zoom. It's snappy. The scope is really good. The perks allow you to be aggressive. It has everything you want out of a PvP sniper. It hits all the check marks. And if you're new to sniping and you want to get better at sniping, I strongly encourage that you do the quest. Doing the quest itself makes you work on your sniping with the 300 kills and the 50 headshots. It makes you work on your positioning and comp, things like that. Collectively, it's almost like training. And then you get the Revoker, and the Revoker has that reversal perk as we've talked about, so your miss isn't as bad as it once was, and you can continue your growth as a sniper. Everything about the quest is good if you're looking to improve, but if you're a seasoned sniper, watch out for the Revoker when Elimination comes back. It's going to be a really good pick for that. But lastly, my drawback is that kinetic slot. I love my Kindled Orchid. I like Sunshot, Waking Vigil, and others. Some love Luna and Recluse Not Forgotten. You're going to feel right at home. That's going to be great. That's not me, though. I like to pair my snipers with Ace, Last Word, Ostringer, and many others. The overall kit of having the Energy Sniper makes me a more well-rounded player to be able to do things that I need to do at a given time, such as shutting someone down that's rushing away with a shotgun with the Last Word. But I do say get the Sniper Rifle if you're a PvP player. This season's one of the easiest ones it's ever been for a PvP Pinnacle weapon. It helps you work on your sniping skills, going through the quest, it grows your skills. It's a worthy tool of your toolbox. Even if you set it down, there might be something later on that will make you want to pick it back up and use it again. It is my go-to PvP Kinetic Sniper if I go that route. Otherwise, I'm going to be using Beloved or Twilight with a more favorable Kinetic weapon. So, I would like to thank you guys for spending a little bit of your day with me. It feels really good to be back. I'm going to start streaming soon, so pay attention to my Twitter, and I'll give updates through videos. I would like to know your thoughts on the Revoker, the quest, the feel. And if you don't have it, what do you think about it? To you, as someone who, who doesn't have it yet, what's the reason for not pursuing it, possibly? Let's talk about it. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, thank you guys so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.